which also I got to say, why the heck isn't there a season pass for just the characters? I don't want to buy those stupid ass suits. I just want the characters. <laughs> just give me that. So April was a pretty rough month for Tekken with the new update that came out and dropped Eddie and as well as the Battle Pass, which has a lot of pretty negative reception. Also, just the culture of online fighting games is pretty rough in some spots. Tekken in particular, it has always been a thing. <laughs> so I've been playing online Tekken since Tekken 7. And I would say that the experience was okay. Uh, it was better than 8, I would say, because you had the option to just continuously rematch the same person over and over again, and you'll just be in these death matches. <laughs> Which that was a lot of fun and I kind of missed that. But right now with the uh, best of three sort of format they have or they've taken ranked is that there's a lot of one and dones. And FDX did a great video. I'll link that in the description, uh, although you probably have already seen it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, FDX broke down through a lot of research and uh, trials of figuring out how does the ranking system give you points or the bonuses or the penalties what's going on here and basically what he kind of found out is that the uh algorithm the the formula that which it you know gives you uh bonuses and penalties is kind of incentivizing one and dones it's not incentivizing the full three out of five uh, or excuse me the two out of three set and that's pretty problematic uh so in my case yeah i do encounter a lot of people where we have a close match but my opponent just leaves and that's pretty frustrating because you want to play the game you want to play full sets uh i don't mind losing two times uh, if they if they win the two times sure that's fine i would just like to play out the set and try to learn how to play the game one and done really diminishes the opportunity for that yeah, talking about the one and dones right now, we're going to get back to the battle pass in a second. But I want to say that I think one of the solutions, I don't know how like specifically, but like if they penalize only playing one match, like maybe making it so that way the points you earn are halved if you just one and done. And then if you do another set, you you do the you get the full points. I don't know if that's too harsh. But it would incentivize people to stick around for the full set. Uh, I know people hate losing stuff. Like, lose the psychology of it is that people feel losses harder than they feel wins. So, that would strongly encourage people to stick around for a set. But I think a reward system could also incentivize it. Probably not as strongly, but maybe giving you bonus points for winning a set. That would be really cool. I think that would make a lot of sense. <laughs> uh, I also kind of, I, I feel like you kind of just go neutral or just barely gain any points at all if you win a set, which I feel like this would be a, at least a small bonus for winning a set. There are win streaks and lose streaks as well. And just the way it is right now, it also kind of incentivizes one and dones because if you had a close first match and you win, probably gonna think oh i don't want this guy to adjust and win next one i want to keep my win streak so you leave and find another opponent so that's another issue so that the streaks sort of incentivize also fdx pointed out that uh that doesn't really show you much of the um streaks in tekken 7 there was like little bubbles around your rank bar and that would uh, show you like how at least it'll give you an idea that like oh I'm on some sort of streak so I think if the point system was a lot more transparent and what it incentivized you to do uh, that would make a lot more sense uh, also I haven't really looked into it right now but apparently the very Tekken matchmaking works is kind of weird right now like it's working around prowess and prowess isn't really that accurate anymore I, I haven't really looked into it but let me know in the comments if you heard about that and if that's something you want me to cover in a video. Okay, we got to talk about the battle pass because the battle pass is also a hot topic. 
So yeah, the battle pass came out and uh, what makes it kind of rough is, yeah, I think it's what, 500 Tekken coins. You can buy straight up 500 Tekken coins, which is nice. So effectively, if you play the entire uh, duration of the battle pass, like if you're able to fully complete the battle pass, you'll be able to just buy another one because it refunds you for getting the premium battle pass. I think that's, you know, a standard, but also good model and incentivizes people to keep playing. And I think in today's age too, with so many games having these kind of systems, all there's a lot of other games that are like trying to pull your attention and giving you these little things. Uh, the battle pass was, you know, inevitable. And I personally, I find it a bit welcomed, but yeah, the items in the battle pass are not that great. And a lot of it, a lot of the really like highly sought out after stuff is in the premium version, which sucks. <laughs> not everybody's going to want to buy the premium version. Uh, and, you know, it's already in $70, potentially $100 game if you buy the deluxe edition or whatever the heck. Which also, I got to say, why the heck isn't there a season pass for just the characters? I don't want to buy those stupid ass suits. I just want the characters. <laughs> Just give me that. Otherwise, I have to buy all the characters individually. And it's like, what? I don't want the deluxe upgrade. Bandai Namco. Come on. <laughs> but one idea I had, which it's a model that goes against the whole philosophy of the Battle Pass, is to give free Tekken coins. I think that would make people all very happy. That if they just play the game that they paid 70 bucks for, they could get more custom items. Because a lot of people were complaining that the customizing feature in Tekken 8 it's, it's kind of lacking compared to old games, especially 6. Like, I would say it's probably just as good as 7, if not, but definitely worse than 6, though. 6 had the best, most robust customizing system that they had in the whole series. Yeah, giving free Tekken coins, uh, I think, would be probably the best way to restore goodwill. <laughs> Although I really think that's an impossible thing that Bandai Namco would do. Like. It just goes against the entire model of a battle pass. Like, why would you give them the free premium uh, currency? It doesn't make sense. Uh, but yeah, the, I think that would really incentivize people to play more and longer because even if they're not going to buy a battle pass, they could also eventually buy the costumes that pay five bucks for it and then have a hundred Tekken coins left over which that's also a pretty crappy model. <laughs> and yeah, that, I think that would probably s soften the blow of the way they implemented the costumes because you know, a lot of people like the vast amount of costumes that Tekken has. They had very fashion forward and kind of seeing the lack of costumes and options in the base game and then seeing that we have to pay at least five bucks to get one costume, kind of ass with a full roster of like what 30 something characters right now and then it's expecting to have support for the next few years so it's gonna be a lot more characters it's gonna be expensive <laughs> and i get bandai namco like they're here to make money but like you're ruining the goodwill of your community that rose tekken to a point where the sequel was even feasible so yeah anyways uh, that's gonna have to do it for my take on the battle pass uh, and the one and done's that's been going on in Tekken 8. So subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. It's the best way to help out the channel. Shout out to the members you see on screen. To keep the party rocking. And uh, if you want to become a member, join buttons down there. You don't have to, but super appreciate it if you do. And. Uh, yeah, comment down below what you think of Tekken 8. Uh, I, I feel like the virtual upsetness, <laughs> not even like a proper sentence, but like the negative uh, comments have simmered down a little bit as the Tekken Motor is starting to roll out. Some events are happening and some people are now more talking about the competition, which is really nice. Um, and I think what the community really needs I just want to know, are people, are you still upset about Tekken 8? Let me know. I, I'm still okay with it. I'm still playing the game. My philosophy is if you could still play the game without the battle pass, then it's fine. <laughs> like, 
just missing out on cosmetics, which I don't entirely need. So, yeah. Anyways, that's my take. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe to stick around, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.